What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to TTP Sports. And before we get into everything, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are getting very close to the 400 subscriber mark. I'll greatly appreciate if you're a new subscriber and you hit that button, or if you're just a current subscriber, a long time viewer of this channel, recommended to other people. I'll definitely appreciate that. Let's try to grow this channel together, get it over to that 400 count, and continue rising from there. So, Let's get into the actual discussion here for today's football game. Eagles versus Carolina Panthers. The Eagles beat them by a score of 21-18. to They were down 15-3 to at one point during this game. And fourth quarter, especially late in the fourth quarter, was a great comeback by the Eagles. Jalen Hurts getting that touchdown. He get the two-point conversion by Devontae Smith. A lot of big defensive stops in this game. But, and it's a big but, it's hard to get excited about this win just because of how sloppy this game was and how frustrating this game was. Because this game was very, very flawed fundamentally. It just the same mistakes continue to happen. We can get excited about the win. We can be happy that they found a way to win this game. But both teams played terribly this game. Defense, okay, the defense was fine, was great on both sides, but offensively, my goodness. The turnovers, the fumbles, the interceptions, my goodness, the blocked punt by the Eagles, and how the sloppiness and the, the, the safety at the end of the first half, my goodness. You can't get any more sloppy. You can't get any more bad. My goodness, this game was just all over the place. All over the place fundamentally for the Eagles, and just the Panthers weren't as good either. They made a lot of mistakes, and they kept the Eagles within this game. And also, you can give all the credit in the world to the Eagles' defense. They did step up big time today after going down early. And that's a big makeup for the, you know, the past couple of weeks when the defense being terrible and getting torched today. They really stepped up and helped this team win this ball game. Jalen Hurts, fourth quarter, good. The entire game? Not good. Jalen Hurts did not have a good game today. 22 out of 37 attempts, 198 yards total, one interception. He got sacked twice, and his quarterback rating was 62.7. The runs, oh, they had 22 carries, but I really think that number is flawed because they were rushing the ball a lot at the end of the game, especially after they got the you know the the winning touchdown and after the uh, the Steven Nelson interception. Miles Sanders, you know, to run the clock down. For some reason, the guy was just going out of bounds for for so long. Every single attempt, he went out of bounds. But they somehow closed out the game. But I do believe the uh, the number of carries in this game is still very a flawed number just because of how many times they ran the ball, specifically at the end of that fourth quarter. Miles Sanders, like I said, the numbers are very flawed. Jalen Hurts, he got a lot of the more big plays in this game, especially with the two touchdowns, the one that got the Eagles within a couple of points and the one that put the Eagles on top. A lot of big catches in this game. Quez Watkins once again making a huge play downfield, 53-yard catch. Devontae Smith got seven receptions, a total of 77 yards. He got the two-point conversion in this game, even though he did have the fumble at the beginning of the second half as well. There were a lot of big uh, catches by the receivers, also some by Zach Ertz, some by Dallas Goddard. So, And there were a lot of missed balls, too. There was a, especially played late in this game. Eagles have a chance to get a first down. Zach Ertz just completely misses the ball. And there are a lot of chances in this game, too, for Jalen Hurts with the ball, missing some wide-open people, trying to throw up the Zach Ertz at the end of the first half. To close the half down, you have a wide-open Quez Watkins that can possibly get you a touchdown there. He was wide open, and you can see Jalen Hurts on the replay just holding his hands on his head, just knowing what the hell he did in that moment. He knew he had an open play, and he did not throw it to him. And just looking at the overview of all the plays in this game, it's just very sloppy. And, like, you can see from the fundamentals to start off, like, the fouls for the Eagles, like, they started early. Like, the first play of your first offensive drive, you get a foul. The first play of your defensive drive, you get a foul. Even though they finished with less fouls than the Panthers, they were still... And they still took some stupid penalties in this game. Alex Singleton, he got some, you know, he got a bad play there. Got some false starts. You got some holdings. And there were a lot of moments where... The offensive line wasn't able to hold up Jordan Maialata. He was getting torched at moments in that second half as well. 
and that definitely credits to Jordan Mailata. He's playing right tackle. He is a left tackle, but he, you know, there's adjustment field there, and you can see him talking to the coach on the sidelines during one of those situations where, you know, he got torched two times in a row, and Jalen Hurts got sacked two times in a row in that specific drive. But just looking at a lot of these plays, especially in the first half, like you could see the defense, they were starting to, they were starting to get a little, a, I would say torched. I, w- I wouldn't say torched. Honestly, I don't think that's the right word to use. It started off slow, but then the defense really settled in, especially going in, like into the second half. They were fantastic in the second half. You get the first interception in that first quarter. Darius Slay getting two interceptions in this game, but then it felt like the Eagles really didn't convert on the interceptions that they got in this game, especially when you go into that second half. But you kind of do convert on the first interception. You get a field goal, but it comes to one of those situations. Again, you have a chance to get a touchdown with Devontae Smith getting it in the end zone, but then you get Greg Ward with a pass interference, which brings the uh, play back. You don't get the touchdown, and you have to kick the field goal on fourth down. So that takes away the entire play there. So once again, you struggle in the end zone to get a touchdown because you take a foul right as you score one. So, yeah, that's a problem in itself. And then you have so many plays in a row where both teams are punting balls, but then right after that field goal, the Eagles scored. Panthers, they go down the field. They get a touchdown, so it makes it 10-3, to but then you get a series of punts. Then the, Eagle, then the Panthers, they get another field goal to make it a 13-3 game. And then you get one of these plays at the end of the first half. It's in the Eagles' red zone. Eagles are trying to, you know, they got to get the ball downfield. And it's a high snap. Jalen Hurts can't get it. It rolls into the end zone. No one can, for some reason, pick the ball up. You got Jalen Hurts flinging at the ball, like swatting it with his hands. You got like three Panthers trying to get on top of it. And it goes out of bounds and it turns into a safety, which honestly, this should have been seven points for the Panthers. But, you know, they lost an opportunity to get the ball there. And I have no idea what the hell Jalen Hurts is trying to do in that moment. But it turns into a safety, which makes it a a 15-3 game. Then the Eagles, they get that field goal at the end of the first half, even though there was a chance for Quez Watkins to get the touchdown, but Jalen Hurts did not throw it to him. Going into that second half, okay, the defense starts good. You force the Panthers to punt. But then Devontae Smith, he gets the catch for the first down, but he gets the ball knocked out of his hands, turns into a fumble. And then you get this weird series of plays after the fumble. He turns into like multiple interceptions in a row. Okay, you force the Panthers to punt after they get a three and out. And then the Eagles, the first, the first exact thing they do, you got Jalen Hurts with this horrible throw, horrible. Just, I don't know what the hell he was doing. It was intercepted by Jackson. It was a throw to the Zach Ertz. He completely missed him by miles, and it turned into an interception for the Panthers. So they get the ball back. But then so many other plays later, you get Darius Slay intercepting the ball to get the ball back for the Eagles. But then the Eagles can't do anything on that drive. They go three and out. The Panthers get the ball back. The Eagles get get some big stops. You got Javon Hargrave getting some stops in there as well. Then the Eagles, they get that touchdown. You got Jalen Hurts managing to get the ball in. And look, the quarterback sneak actually worked. But then you also got a one big play on this drive. Jalen Hurts throwing it over the Quez Watkins for that long gain, putting you into that situation to begin with. Panthers respond with the field goal right after that. Eagles can't do anything there. And then the Panthers, they get the ball back as well. It's a three and out. But they try to punt the ball, and the Eagles block it. Wow, that's a first. And I was wa- we were watching the um, the post game too. I think it was uh, Seth Joyner or Ray Didinger. I think he was saying that this blocked punt by the Eagles was the first blocked punt since the Super Bowl season. So it's been, th- what, three, four years since the Eagles had a blocked punt, TJ Edwards. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's a big play there. The Eagles get the ball back in the Panthers' end in their red zone. They get a touchdown. They got Jalen Hurts running it in, making the fake, and he's wide open to get in there. And then you get the Devontae Smith play for the two-point conversion. You got Jalen Hurts avoiding the runner coming at him. You get that two-point play, make it 21-18. to The Panthers, originally the Eagles had him on a third and 15 because in this stretch of the game, the Panthers were taking so many penalties, especially on their offensive drives, putting them back so many yards. But you get a third and 15, Sam Darnold. He throws a perfect first down. And then you look like, oh, God, here comes the Panthers. They're going to come back into this game. This is when the defense is going to choke. 
But then Sam Darnold on that first down, they do also get a penalty once again. I think it's for a false start or a holding, which makes it, I think, first and 20. And then you get <laughs> then you get the interception by Steven Nelson, and it gives the Eagles the ball back. And then they finish the game, and you, you were thinking to yourself, why the hell is Miles Sanders running out of bounds? He should be running the clock out. But hey, the, the game ended. And they win 21-18. to This game was so fundamentally flawed. But my goodness, this game was just outrageously terrible. Like, yeah, you could be excited about the win, but my God, my God, it was bad. It was, I don't, I don't even know what I, what I was watching. I was watching trash on the field, but at least the fourth quarter, I guess, was entertaining. But this, it's still very fundamentally flawed. You got Nick Sirianni, Jalen Hurts making bad decisions on the field. They're doing so many run. Run, run pass options. There's so many read options. You got Jalen Hurts taking the ball away from the runner and deciding to throw the ball instead. And they were complaining about that on the post game too. That Nick Sirianni's Nick Sirianni is probably going to use that as an excuse as to why he's not running the ball as much. But yeah, that's still a major issue too going into this game. Still not running the ball enough, even though it, it does say they have 22 carries with the rush. It's still it's fundamentally that. Not, well, I don't want to keep saying fundamentally flawed. The number is flawed because of how many times they ran the ball at the end of the game. I guess you could say you didn't finish with more penalties than the opponent because the Panthers got so many penalties at the end of the game, but you still took six. There's still a lot of big penalties in this game for your team. That still needs to be fixed. So there's still a lot of issues, a lot of issues, but it's a good thing your defense stepped up today, but you're going to have Tom Brady and the Buccaneers this Thursday. And I guess it's better that you're going into that game with a win rather than a loss. But Thursday night football, you're in Lincoln Financial Field playing Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, even though he's been on that team for a year and a half at this point. It's still weird to say Tom Brady on the Buccaneers, even though he won a goddamn Super Bowl with them, reigning Super Bowl champions. Still very weird to say. But that's going to be a very, very tough contest. Very tough, and who knows what the hell is going to happen. I was going to say, I thought the Eagles were going to lose this game, and then somehow, some way, they were going to beat the Buccaneers. But, you know, my predictions are absolutely terrible. And I guess we just got to see what happens when we go into Thursday's matchup against Tampa Bay. It's not that long, it's not that long of a break. You only got a couple of days, then you play Thursday night football down at the link at 8.20. So, yeah. The big week upcoming for this team. You get a big win today, even though it was a very bad game. Very, very bad. I guess try to look at some positives, even though the Panthers were terrible as well. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This game was just trash. <laughs> you want a trash game. But I guess there are some spots to look forward to. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just that I can't get hyped for this win. I just can't. I'm happy they won. I, I can't get ecstatic I can't I just can't do that so <laughs> I guess that's where I'm going to end it for this video everyone what are your thoughts on this game the Eagles come back just the entire game in general you think it was sloppy are you pumped up for this win I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below so don't forget to leave those there do not forget to drop a like on this video do not forget to check out the painted lines which I'm a part of the links are down in the description below also don't forget to check out the links to Broads Media the Florida Pod merch website and also Flyers Diddy Gritty all that good stuff is down in the description below definitely do not forget to check those out and like I said in the beginning of the video the most important thing you could do is hit that subscribe button let's continue to grow the channel together. I'll greatly appreciate that, and I will see you next time.